in today's video I'm going to be doing something different um, I'm going to be doing a BlueJay program a BlueJay is a software in which we can write programs using Java Java is an, a programming language which is also an OOPS language object oriented programming language so using Java we can create different objects and also different things using these programs so let's get right into the video first this is the BlueJ window in here there are different projects and also there are different classes and objects I will go into that in uh, in the future so let's go ahead and create a project a project is a group of classes so you can create a project by uh, using the menu over here there's an option called project click on it and click on new project this create pops up a dialog box and in the dialog box click the desired name of the project but first select the location of the project in your computer you can select the location of saving the project just go ahead and do that and type in the name of the project I'm typing in beginners path and press ok now as you can see a project has been opened now to create a class or to add a class just click on new class on this left pane now it asks us to write the class name I'll type in P1 which stands for program 1 so I'll type in program 1 and click on OK just click on the box which is the class and it is striped as you can see this opens a new window which is the program here there are a lot of options just click control and a key combination selects the entire program and then click on delete option now I'm going to be uh, doing a simple program which you can understand uh, let's begin so this is the s basic syntax of any Java program first up type class with all small letters you might not be knowing this but Java uh, is a case sensitive language so you type in all small letters so there it is class and now write the name of the class which is p1 short for program and in the next line immediate line just press enter and it goes to the next line now just you just have to open the class here so a curly bracket or braces are used to open class so let's go to the next line now this is a class and a class consists of many methods so they are just like subclasses so class p1 and under that I'm going to write a method so the syntax of a method is access specifier modifier return type method name list of parameters so this is the basic form of method header so the access specifier stands for um, the people who can look at the program so I'm going to type in uh, so there are two options public and private so I'm going to type in public and then comes modifier so we'll talk about that later then comes return type um, so this is called return type there is either void or there is something like int or double or 
care or strength. Uh, we'll, it is uh, too b deep into the subject, so I'm not going to talk about that. Now comes the method name. So there are many methods under s one single class, right? So this is one method and next comes another. So we are right now doing only one method. So we just have to differentiate between two different methods. And so we write different method names. For this I'm going to write uh, method add. Now comes list of parameters which we are going to avoid. So this is inside of a class and inside of a method and this is the first method so after the uh, method syntax we have to compulsorily put in parentheses now we are going to start the program now we're just going to do a simple program in which we are going to add two numbers so there are many variables that you can uh, add in this program so there is the integer type, the double type, the character type, the, which is C H A R char, and uh, you got um, float type, string type, and uh, so many other options. So now we are just going to add uh, two numbers. So let's get right into it. Int stands for integer, which is either positive number or negative number or which is equal to zero so I'm going to use int value so int int which stands for integer and you have to um, assign a, a variable to a constant a variable is any alphabet or letter in the English alphabet so it is any letter from A to Z and um, a constant is any number from one uh, starting from anywhere which is uh, because it is an integer type so I'm going to type in a which is the variable and equals and then comes the constant which is I'm going to type in 3 and next I'm going to enter this is the second line of the method uh, so next uh, I'm going to type in int oh uh, and I forgot sorry about that uh, we have to always uh, in a method we have to always type in s a semicolon after every statement so next up in b is equal to um, I'm going to t go with 6 then semicolon then this is the main part here if we have to print something in a Java program, this is the syntax. System with a capital S dot out dot print ln space and the bracket stops. So this is system dot out dot print ln. ln stands for line. And then comes the bracket. In the bracket, you can type any text or you can just type the value. Now, a true programmer types in a statement. So, I'm going to do that and write down anything in the double quotes. So, I'm going to type in the sum is. Then, I'm going to close the quotes and this is called concatenation. C O N C A T E N A T I O N concatenation and then um, plus this is concatenation and then I'm going to write in C so you might be puzzled where is C actually I was just messing with your mind so just before this statement you have to write in C equals A plus B and semicolon now C is already assigned so just close the codes and close the statement using semicolon go to the next line 
and this is the this is it this is a method close the method then close the program now this is one entire program so now to get the result of any program we have to first compile it so it says class compiled no er syntax errors if this statement comes then it means that you have uh, you can now see the result for yourself so let's get it I'll close this window right click on the class that you did at right now and click on new p1 now by clicking new p1 you uh, will be creating a new object so let's do that it, it has the name of instance or name of the object I'm going to type in p1 and press ok and bam there is the object down here so right click on it and click on void add now this opens an, uh, a pop up window which says the sum is 9 now I'm going to do uh, I'm going to be doing another program just click on new class and type in p2 Now in this program, I'm going to be um, multiplying two numbers. So let's do the same. Braces, then public void exit or main. Then again the braces, and now I'm going to be typing in int a equals 3 semicolon don't forget that int b is equals to um, I guess 6 int c equals a um, there is no x in programming so I'm going to be using a star B semicolon and the same system dot out the print ln open the brackets codes and type in the product is codes concatenation C close the bracket semicolon now close the method and close the program now compile close it right click new p2 create an object by pressing ok creates an object void mine and the, it says the product is 18 so that worked out perfectly mine so that's it for the first video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye